After devoting years and traveling about 100,000 kilometers to transforming Barham's Bravurus model tires, making them almost racing smooth but still compliant with current regulations with a tread slightly above the minimum limit of 1.6 millimeters, perfect for the climate, roads and traffic of a small coastal town in Molise in southeastern Italy, I was finally convinced to replace them because of an exceptional event that was unimaginable until a few years ago. The streets of the village turned into fields filled with smelly, slippery slime, making it difficult to even walk on them without risking slipping. This was happening only during the days of organic wet waste collection. Promptly, surveillance camera footage was viewed that showed a herd of dozens of wild boars, rummaging through garbage containers filled with succulent food scraps left on the streets overnight for recycling collection. The boars ate until they were full, causing themselves tremendous diarrhea, perhaps due in part to the inhabitants, habit of seasoning their food with plenty of homemade extra virgin olive oil, usually one or more ladles being deemed sufficient. Quickly fleeing back to safety in the woods, they became efficient manure spreaders, fertilizing much of the roads. Immediately, heated discussions ensued in the village on how to solve the problem, while the municipal police, coordinated by the technical department, collected data as usual. Proposals ranged from exterminating the wild boars and making tasty bologna, to making vows to Padre Pio, to becoming polygamists by converting to Islam in order to dedicate a wife to cleaning the streets, to deploying a fleet of auto-purgers, to ignoring the problem by equipping themselves with first series Fiat Panda 4X4S. Incredibly, a win-win solution was found, including the wild boars. The decision was made to import dung beetles from South Africa and reintroduce them in large numbers into the local habitat so that they would produce enough feces balls to promptly clean the roads and ensure a food supply for themselves. The solution worked so well that it was no longer necessary to contract out the disposal of organic waste to a company, and with the money saved, coupons were financed for the installation and purchase of anti-dejection tires for citizens. Naturally, I took the opportunity to maximize savings by choosing tires that offered the best value for money for my needs and avoiding falling into the case of those who save waste. Ordered abruptly online, though mistaken by my cat as succulent kibble, given the name, Tom Kett, at first glance they seemed flawless and of good workmanship. So I went to the diligent tire dealer affiliated with the coupon that can be activated by simply speaking to him in narrow low Molise dialect, who fitted them perfectly. Although with one turned out slightly squashed, he had to ask for reinforcements and resort to all the techniques acquired through years of swearing. Since the mandatory overhaul under Italian law was due, I went to the nearest overhaul center and the outcome was positive. So, at least as far as the law is concerned, there is no problem with these tires. Now, after a couple of laps in the traffic circle to warm up the tires, everything is ready to start my test drive on various roads and in various weather conditions between the Maella Massif and the Adriatic Sea, in crazy and variable early spring weather, hoping in addition to sun and rain for some snow. When searching for the right tires for a vehicle, several factors are considered. One evaluates the use of the tires, taking into account the frequency and type of route one takes. One reflects on the type of roads most frequently used, which may be urban, winding or bumpy. One ponders on the daily or occasional use of the vehicle and one's driving style, which may vary from sporty to quiet. You check the vehicle's technical specifications on the registration card and consider the need for summer, winter or four-season tires. Finally, considering the variety of vehicles available, including electric models, you select a tire that meets the specifications of your vehicle. Therefore, I chose Tomcat Sport 205 55R 16 summer tires, which, after reading reviews and doing research, seemed like the best choice for my needs. Tomcat is a company based in the Czech Republic that produces tires for various types of vehicles. Founded in 1997, it has expanded its product range to include summer, winter and all-season tires. The company is committed to providing high-quality tires at affordable prices, using modern technology and efficient manufacturing processes in both Asian and European factories. Ratings of Tomcat Sport tires by trade magazines and reviewers on Amazon offer a varied picture. 
While some specialized sites praise the tire's excellent dry terrain braking, handling, and acoustic comfort, they simultaneously criticized its aquaplaning resistance and braking on wet roads, as well as reporting vibration problems at high speeds. On the other hand, customer reviews on Amazon tend to be more positive. Many buyers praised the speed of delivery and the quality of the tires, reporting excellent grip and stability on both dry and wet ground, although some experienced difficulties with the latter. Thus, Tonkit Sport tires seem to be appreciated for their value for money and good performance on dry roads. However, they may present some problems on wet ground and at high speeds. Therefore, it is best to form your own opinion about the tire, perhaps by continuing to look at this whimsical road test I am conducting and possibly taking into account my personal impressions and reflections. Almost certainly the tire was designed not so much to compete with premium and mid-sized European, US, Japanese, and Korean brands, but rather to offer a viable and reliable alternative to cheaper and more aggressive Chinese tires. The overall appearance is certainly anonymous, including the tread pattern, which moreover does not look very deep, probably less than 8 millimeters. The name and cat print logo look almost amateurish, as if they were made by a graphic designer who used a free template on Canva, perhaps found on Fiverr for 50 cents an hour. Driving with inferior tires can pose some risks, such as less grip, especially in wet or snowy conditions, and they may not be optimal in terms of durability and fuel consumption. However, distracted and reckless driving is universally recognized as a major cause of traffic accidents. Distraction, such as cell phone use, can significantly increase the risk of accidents, while reckless driving can include dangerous behaviors such as speeding and reckless maneuvers. Reaction time plays a key role in safe driving. Under normal conditions, the average reaction time is about one second. When driving, this means that at 90 km per hour, which is equal to 25 meters per second, a vehicle will travel 25 meters in the time between perceiving a hazard and taking action to avoid it. Distracted or reckless driving can increase the reaction time, thus reducing the time available to react safely to unexpected situations. An expensive product does not always offer superior performance, just as a cheap product is not always synonymous with low quality. Sometimes you get what you paid for. Currently, Tonkit Sport 2055R 16 tires can be found at a price of about 40 euros. For me, the right one would be to get a tire that is reliable and predictable for use in urban, suburban and occasional highway conditions, obeying speed limits and mostly in good weather. During my test on dry roads and in temperatures around 20 degrees, the tire showed no uncertainties, although the shoulder felt slightly soft in turns taken more aggressively. However, the stability control system never intervened, and noise was in the normal range. They also seemed to smooth out small bumps in the road well, while braking and handling between turns seemed adequate. In the wet, with nighttime temperatures of about 10 degrees, the impression was of sufficient road holding, with effective braking and quick steering response. However, in turns or traffic circles taken at the same speeds encountered in the drive, the electronic stability control sometimes intervened. As for driving on snow, being summer tires, nothing can be claimed in terms of performance. So even in buckets of snow, just use devices such as snow socks, easily installed in a few minutes, currently under Italian law and capable of doing their job well. In motoring, not only tires, but also technologies such as ESP and TCS, suspension, a low center of gravity, a proper wheelbase track ratio, a lightweight vehicle with optimal weight distribution, and a rigid chassis structure, along with abs, contribute to driving stability and safety by improving vehicle response and maintaining grip in various conditions. So if the performance remains consistent over time, if the tires prove to be durable, if more advantageous models do not emerge, and if my budget does not increase significantly, I will definitely consider buying these tires in the future as well. In fact, by adopting a smooth and anticipatory driving style, it is possible to optimize tire performance and compensate for small deficiencies, which can be decisive in critical or dangerous conditions. Thank you for watching the video so far, I hope I have been helpful and pleasantly entertained you. If you haven't already, please share, 
comments, like, check out the other videos, offer a super thank you and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. Bye bye.